head out to our uh, Corky's hotline. Always a pleasure to welcome this gentleman to the program. The head basketball coach with San Diego State, Coach Steve Fisher, joins us on the Mighty 1090. Coach, how are you today? Uh, hello, Coach. I'm doing fine, thank you. And yourself? Uh, doing uh, doing well. Now, I know that you've got this basketball camp coming up on Monday, but you've already had uh, one in the books, haven't you? We've had one team camp in the book, and we are going to finish tomorrow our first week of individual camp. And then we have a – we'll be followed by a team camp on Friday and another individual camp on Sunday. So we're busy campers. Hey, Coach, talk a little bit about the camps. And uh, you talk about the team camp, and then you got the individual skills basketball camp. Could you talk about each one of them and, and what the players are going through? Coach, our team camp uh, has been a phenomenal success, and uh, we don't have enough space to accommodate those that want to come. It's grown and gotten so popular. And what what that is is high school teams come. Uh, we provide a schedule, officials, uh, <laughs> six games, six or seven games of competition followed by a tournament. And it starts Saturday or Friday at noon and then Sunday at about 3 o'clock. And it's great competition. And we've had teams come this year, for instance, first session. We had uh, several teams from the state of Arizona. We had several teams from uh, from Nevada. We had one team from uh, Alaska that came in. And a lot of, of California teams from all over, not just locally. So it gives you a different feel for playing people that you have never played before. And uh, the coaches really like it. Well, and it also gets a lot of kids on campus to see what San Diego State has to offer and an opportunity for you and your staff to, uh, you know, uh, watch these guys and evaluate them a little bit. Without a doubt. Uh, we will finish next Sunday. Our two team camps will have over 120 teams that have come. Wow. And they a minimum of 10 a team, some 12. A lot of parents come in for the weekend with them. So it's a, it's a boom for the the city and the university a lot of prospective students forget about prospective basketball players get an opportunity to see what san diego state looks like and uh, i think we've gotten some really uh, good vibes that we've gotten a lot of students that, that came first time as a result of our basketball camp oh that's awesome hey where was that uh, camp or did they even have it before you got there they did not have a camp uh, I think they had tried it in the past, but uh, they had not had camps. So we said we're going to do it and rolled up our sleeves. In the first few uh, sessions of individual camp, we needed to track. So we had feature speakers such as Bill Walton, Chris Weber, Steve Kerr, and, and others. And now, you know, it's pretty much us running the camp. We'll have Jim Brogan who will come in on occasion to – teach and speak on shooting and so it's uh it's grown it's still not as big as it could be uh but it's we're we're really pleased with what we've got uh, our individual camps can still grow our team camps uh next year with uh with the practice facility opening up we will probably be able to be able to take 70 teams a session Okay, let's talk about the individual camp, and your next one coming up is uh, this Monday, the 29th through July 2nd. Uh, take us through that, and, and again, uh, give us the ages on what the campers can be. Coach, it's a day camp. It, it starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 4 p.m., and we uh, it's a skill camp. We compete, but if you, you come in and watch, we have station work. We have individual work, we have three-on-three -three play, and then we have five-on-five -five play. They're divided into teams also. But the predominant theme is we want to help you get better. We want you to compete and be as good as you can, but it's a teaching camp. We're probably as good as anybody in terms of coach-to-player ratio. Uh, we're somewhere – we're under 10, 10 players per coach, and – they get their they get their money's worth. It's a it's a full day. We get a lot of repeat campers, and they all seem to enjoy it. And it will end uh, tomorrow at uh, four o'clock. Now, uh, under NCAA rules, are your players allowed to coach in this camp? Our players could work it. Yes, yes. 
you know, the ones who are on campus are in summer school, so it makes it difficult. A year ago, Winston Shepard worked and did a marvelous job. We've got Dakari Allen, who's uh, working uh, mornings uh, this week. He's got commitments in the afternoon. And they all come around. You know, the kid, you know, the kids want to, to see the players. So they all come around, walk through the gyms, and say hello to people. And it's, it's neat. That's great stuff. Coach Fisher uh, from San Diego State joining us here on the Corky's Hotline. Coach, how busy uh, a month of July are you and your staff going to have after these camps are over? We will be like everyone. We're fine-tuning our schedules and where each coach is going to go and uh, how long you're going to stay there. And sometimes it changes on the fly when a key recruit chooses to go with a different AAU team or, or play where – uh, you didn't think he was going to play, but we're pretty well organized. Uh, I believe I leave on the 7th or 8th of July, and my first destination is Augusta, and that's not to play the, the master of the golf course, uh, <laughs> and then following up into Atlanta. And do they uh, they still have those big tournaments over in Vegas? Oh, yeah. Yes. There's more teams than you thought it could possibly exist on the AAU circuit who will be playing in, in Vegas over the next, uh, you know, over the last month of July. Well, I know uh, the month of July is always very, very busy. Hey, uh, as far as your roster, do you still have any scholarships you could give for the current year? We've got a potential of one, but I don't think we're going to use it. I think we've got our, our group in fold, um, feel good about it and we'll probably roll that one scholarship over into next year. Hey, tell me a little bit about uh, this basketball game. I wasn't able to get to the press conference, but uh, the Aztecs Toreros at Petco Park on December 5th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, we're going to try it again, an outdoor game, and hopefully the results will be better for us. So, you know, we played Syracuse on the midway. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're playing in Petco Park. We've got a great partnership with uh, the Padres, and I think it's going to be a wonderful event. I've seen the layout of what, uh, you know, what the stands will look like and where they'll put the court, and I think it's going to be a, a fun fun game for the city, both San Diego State and University of San Diego participating and I believe it will also draw national attention. You know, I think, and I gotta, I gotta credit you a lot. A guy that has done what you've done, and I realize you've always been a great team guy. And I mean, at the university and for the city of San Diego. But I mean, this is a game that you probably didn't really have to play, but you're doing it for the the betterment of college basketball and basketball in our city. Because I know when you were on that. Uh, uh, ship to, to play uh, a Syracuse, uh, the, the environment wasn't exactly what you'd like for a, a regular college basketball game. No question, Coach. The wind was uh, played havoc with every shot that went up, and Syracuse zone created havoc for us also. I think this game will be, will be better. It'll be more like a basketball game. Uh, they strategically have it going at 2 o'clock where it won't have – moisture on the court and the sun will be in the way. Um, but I think it's, a, it's going to be a great event. And, you know, I'm all about what can we do to help promote college basketball, especially San Diego state basketball and in this city, which includes university of San Diego. So uh, we're very much looking forward to the opportunity to go and play in that really, really unique environment. Hey, uh, give me an update on the uh, the construction out there for the new uh, basketball center. The court's going down. It looks like a practice facility now, Coach. Uh, we're going to have, uh, I, think, I think they're calling it a soft opening sometime in mid-August. Wow. With a more formal opening uh, either later in August or early September. But it will be ready full bore for our players who come back in the fall. Now, have you seen what your office is going to look like yet? Well, we're not going to have major offices over there because we're going to be right next door. But we'll have a we'll, – it's going to be nice what we have. We'll have a film room. We'll have a, a weight room area. We'll, we'll have places where we can shower. But our main office area will still continue to be in the Fowler Center. 
But when you walk into it, you're going to say, wow, it'll be an impressive facility. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, hey, Coach, uh, best of luck uh, finishing up these camps, and good luck on the recruiting trail. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate being on with you, and please do this for me. Pass along to Linda Welby that her son, Quincy, who is at camp right now, has done and is doing a great job. She would be proud. Oh, good. She'll let him eat dinner then tonight. Yeah, exactly. Didn't have to do the dishes. Sounds great. Hey, Coach, uh, uh, keep it rolling. We will do, John. Always good to talk to you. There you go. Uh, Coach Steve Fisher joining us on the Corky's Hotline. And, again, uh, you can uh, go to goaztex.com, get more information 